Welcome back to World Drum Club. I've got another treat for you. Eric Perez from A Percussion Life is back. Check out this funky groove. Hey Kalani, thanks for having me. Really do appreciate it. And if you don't know me, my name is Eric Perez from A Percussion Life. And today we actually just wanted to share a very, very easy funky groove that you can try on two drums. And it's very simple. I just think that it's going to help you develop even more funky grooves. You're going to be able to kind of figure out how, you know, you could just kind of expand on it, add your little flavor and taste. And yeah, I just think it's very fun. I think it's catchy. Something you could try, of course, with funk, some R&Bs, contemporary music. Yeah, it's just very simple. But let me show you this pattern. Simple. Man, that was so groovy. You got to love it. So I start this easy funky groove with three opens. And the way I start it is with one open with my dominant hand on the drum, then another open with my non-dominant hand on the drum, and then another open with my dominant hand on the drum. Now, the first two opens are kind of put together. It's not really much of a flam or that type of rudiment, but it's really meant to kind of add a little funky feel. And this is where you're able to add your kind of flavor to it. You could kind of put some space in there, but really it's simple just to kind of let you guys hear it. It's gonna sound like this. Very simple. And after doing that last open with your dominant hand, what you're going to do with your non-dominant hand is you're kind of going to lay it on the drum. It's not really meant to make like a bass pattern or bass tone or anything like that, bass movement, none of that. It's really kind of just laying it there on the drum to help you make a close slap with your dominant hand on the drum. So it's gonna sound like this. To put that part together, it's gonna sound like this. Very, very simple. Heck, you could leave with that groove right there and man, get a couple jobs here and there. Somewhat groovy there, gotta love it. But if you wanted to add that second drum and kinda adds a little bit more melody, makes it a lot more groovy. The way we're going to transition, it's going to be literally the same exact movement except that first open, you're actually going to start it with that second drum. But how do we get to that second drum? The way we're going to get to that second drum, it's going to help us kind of fill in that little space. And what you're going to do since your non-dominant hand is going to be on the drum. Remember, we finished with a close slap. You're going to kind of do a finger tap movement again. We call it a ghost note, but nobody's ever seen a ghost. So what you're going to do is just lift up your hand and then do a finger tap with your non-dominant hand on the drum. And then you're gonna start that same pattern over again, the same movements except that first open is going to be on the second drum. So it's gonna be open, then open with your non-dominant hand, open with your dominant hand then slide that hand and do a close slap again. Simple, but yeah, let me uh, kind of show you how that transition goes.
and that's basically it. Very, very simple. Now, how do we start it all over again? Again, we're going to go back to do that little finger movement again, that little ghost note, just to start everything over again. So, so you guys can see just the finger movement. I'm going to emphasize a lot on that finger movement just so you could kind of get the hint. So it's gonna sound like this. That, that little finger tap really helps fill in the space. Now I'm gonna play it in real time and just make it funky, but you're gonna see how just that little finger tap, the little ghost note really makes a big difference in adding more pizzazz to this easy funky groove. So it's gonna sound like this. Man, if that wasn't groovy for you, I don't know what is, but you gotta love it. So yeah, let's actually count this little easy funky groove that you can try, just so it can make it easy. And you're gonna start understanding that those close slaps are actually landing on the two and on the four. So it just makes it so much easier to kind of grasp the beat once you find out where the one is. But yeah, let me count it for you. One. Wasn't that just super, super groovy? And it was very easy to do. So please try it out, take your time. It's okay if you add your own variation, your own style, your own pizzazz, your own spice to it. It's okay as long as you try it out and experiment with it. That's the whole point of, you know, of us showing you these nice grooves and patterns, man. You got to love it. And Kalani, thanks again for having me and I do appreciate uh, you know, just this platform to be able to share with your audience. And if you haven't subscribed to World Drum Club, please, please subscribe to World Drum Club. They have great, great content for everybody. Well, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys hopefully soon. But yeah, you gotta love it. Have a great day. I do love it. And you guys should too. Thanks, Eric. That was awesome. Uh, really useful groove for all kinds of styles. Play that on cajon. Play it on bongos. Play it on your ashiko and your djembe on your gem chico. <laughs> all right, go show Eric some love and support over at A Percussion Life. Uh, he's doing a great job over there. So thank you again, Eric. Everyone here, appreciate you being here. Now more than ever, um, Enjoy practicing, enjoy playing music, and we'll see you in a future lesson.